what's the main message that you'll be watching out for at this week's NPC? We usually get uh, a GDP target, but it's unlikely that we'll see that this time around, right? Yeah, I'm going to watch probably three things. The first, as you mentioned, is a GDP target. And uh, I ex they didn't set a GDP target last year because of huge uncertainty. But I think that they're going to set one for this year. And my expectation is that they're going to set one uh, as above 6%. But I don't think that that's going to be a big deal for this year because Given the very low base last year, China gonna grow at least seven or eight percent this year. Uh, this is the first thing I'm gonna look at, and the second probably the fiscal stance. What's gonna what's the the fiscal ta target the budget the target that they're gonna set for this year, and the third probably we're gonna receive a long version of the new five year plan. I'm gonna read it to see uh, what's in their mind uh, for China in the next five years. So these are the three things I'm gonna looking at. What about the path to recovery and a normalization when it comes to uh, things like monetary policy? What will they say on that front and how will they essentially talk about this policy without, what? I guess, scaring investors? Well, I think they make that very clear that they want uh, normalization, but no um, tighten, tightening at least in first half this year or term, but no yield turn, right? So, at this moment, we are seeing that they try to uh, tighten in different fronts, such as credit, liquidity, property. But I think that they're going to communicate with the market that they're going to move slowly and in, in an orderly way.